Hey, what is up, everybody? My name is Rahul, and in this video, we'll be looking at a tri hacking room called SQL Map. So, starting off, what is SQL Map? And we'll be looking at some of its commands, and also we'll be solving this room. So, let's begin. So, SQL Map is a command line utility and a tool that can help you automate the process of SQL injections. So, what is SQL injection? You'll have to learn that in a while. Uh, you can learn that after this video. So, for SQL injection, you have a fantastic tool called SQL Map, but for no SQL injection and for databases like uh, which use MongoDB or other data, no, no SQL type databases, you have a command line utility called NoSQL Map, I think. So, before hopping out of the room, let's just start off with a few commands that we'll be needing here. So, SQL Map tag tag help is what you'll need to display all the help commands. If you are on, I think, Linux based distribution, what you can try to do is sudo apt-cat install SQL map to install SQL map and if you are on Mac based system what you can do is you can go to homebrew and you can download it from there for Windows users you can just download it from the github page as well so which flag or option will allow you to add a URL to the command so that's simple you can add tag you to use the URL, URL functionality so to add post data to the request so if we know that to add a post uh, to add data to the post request there would be a data sent to the post request so to add data to the post request what you can do is tag tag data so let's just show uh, let me just show you sql map tag you followed by this would be the url so but if i want to send a post request so what i would be doing is data is equals to what data i want to send so that that would be within the quotations as well so now we know that so there are two parameters username and password how would you tell sql map to use a username password for the attack so if you have a bunch of parameters that is being sent to the back end so if you want to specifically check for sql injection in one parameter what you can do is tag p and the name of the parameter and we'll be looking at in a while which flag would you use to show the advanced help menu so you have an advanced help menu as well so you can use tag tag hh this would give you the advanced help so for example if i were to use tag we know that what how help looks like if i were to tag hh sql map i'm sorry about that sql map and you'll see we have a ton of options here you can also spawn a reverse shell using this so which flag allows you to retrieve everything if you want to retrieve everything there's just one flag tag a which flag allows you to select the database name so th that's simple if you want to select a database name and we'll be looking at that in a while so you can just type in tag d which flag would you use to retrieve database tables so that's simple tables for all of this i've learned using the help menu that is provided right here so all that you have to do is just ta type in sql map tag h and you'll be provided with the options so which flag allows you to retrieve the tables columns so if you want to retrieve the columns you can type in columns which flag allows you to dump the database table entries tag dump all because it says dump all so for just dumping you'll type in tag tag dump for dumping all you'll type in tag tag dump dash all which flags give you the interactive sql prompt so that's simple i think i can show it to you right here it should be sql shell i think sql shell so it should be right here somewhere to it should allow you to give you a command line uh, sql prompt and as you can see it's here sql shell prompt for an interactive sh sql shell so if you know that the current database type is mysql which flag allows you to enumerate only mysql database types so it is going to be db ms so if you know because there are a bunch of SQL type databases, but if you know specifically that which database type you are interacting with, you can specifically save you can save your time by giving this um, parameter dbms equals to MySQL. Now that are, we are done with this part, let's just go to the room. So we have this, and you'll see we are just provided with a nginx server. So Let's see if you are connected. Yes, we are connected. As you'll see that it says welcome to Nginx. So, 
let's see what is the first question what is the name of the interesting directory so so guess the directory what you will be doing is go you can type in go buster dir tag you w word list sec list you can type in start with common but you won't get anything but if i were to go with directory list me small dot text and go for 30 threads you'll get the answer and that answer would be blood as you can see we get a directory so the answer would be blood what is the current database user so let's just see which type of request this is network search and you'll see that this is the post request so what in case of post request this is a handy tool because you can not only get get and use get request but also post requests so let's just use a post request and let's just select the database type as A and you'll see that this is what we get so let's just type in send it to file and let's just type in SQL map dot text and let's just forward the request so if I were to type in ls grab SQL map dot text nano SQL map dot text you'll see I get the entire request back so what I'll be doing here is I'll be giving this request to SQL map. So there are two methods either you can just use the command and utility and but that for that case you will have to type in tag tag data that you will be supplying and the request type as well. But here this is a handy way if you do not know anything about SQL map just intercept the request using burp right click and send it to copy to file and then when you have once copied it you can type it SQL map tag r and SQL map dot text and let's just hit hit enter you'll see that it's automatically starts scanning and looking for sql injections you'll see that it says that the post parameter blood group might not be injectable but it will give you the answer in a while whether it is injectable or not and for the while let's just start off with this part let's just send it to repeater while it is running and let's just see what request what do we get back you see that we do not get anything back but what if if i were to do or one equals to one this is a static a simple comma uh, sql injection payload and you'll see right of the badge i get select a blood group and i get these in the result back so as you can see we have our backend database as mysql and it is asking do you want to skip the test payloads for specific other dbmss so let's just say yes because we know that it has found everything and the backend database appears to be mysql so it says that what level and risk do you want to play at so level and risks they are two functionalities that you get here so the the more the level number of level and the more the risk that you provide the more in depth it will try to look for sql injections as you can see the post parameter blood group is vulnerable do you want to keep testing for others if any so let's just say no because i know that blood group is already vulnerable so let now that we know let's just use another parameter because it is asking for the current database user so what you can type is c u r r e n t d b because this will give you the current database user and let's just see if we have found any let's first let me just remove okay let's just say sql map tag tag help or tag hh as you can see this is the to retrieve the current database user let's just remove users oh sorry local for some reason it isn't providing me the username but in your case it will because i did try it for a while and it might have cached it so it is not showing it to me the current database is appears to be root but for the sake of this we'll come back to this and let's just type in tag tag tables or let's just say 
tables it will give you the list of tables that are in the database and as you can see these are the tables and if you see here there is a database called blood and there's a fla uh, table called flag so let's just type in tag tab tag t to select the table and we'll select it as flag and let's just save you on the columns as well you'll see that this is what we have so let's just say dump and you can see we get the flag right here for the sake of this let's just try the current database entry as well we can see that the technology being application server is nginx database is mysql fetching current database is blood and but we aren't getting the current database user let's just try to remove it and see if we are able to get it For some reason it isn't showing you if i get it i'll place it in the screenshot and show it to you guys but for some reason it isn't showing you showing us so thank you guys this is it for the video